Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about um, triangle similarity transformation. So a sequence of transformations, or rigid motions and dilations that can go ahead and take your first figure onto the second one. And we're also going to figure out how to determine whether our two shapes are similar to each other. Okay, so for example, on my screen right now, if you focus on the little blue triangle right here, Notice that this little blue triangle, if I translate it to the left, it'll go ahead and match with the green triangle that's here. So I'm going to go ahead and translate this triangle, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a dilation. So a translation and a dilation takes this triangle ABC onto this big triangle FDE, okay? Which means that you can say that those two triangles are similar to each other, okay? So for example, here, I can write a sequence of transformations that'll take this triangle QRT onto ABE. So first I'm gonna go ahead and translate it to the left, translate it left. And then from there, the triangle is going to end up somewhere around here. Okay, this is QRT if I just go left, which means from there I can either translate it up or down. I'm gonna just go ahead and translate it down but you can go up as well and it would have the same effect, okay? So I'm gonna translate it down. And now that triangle is right over here, which is right where I want it because now I can go ahead and perform a dilation on the triangle, okay? So now last step, I'm gonna dilate it, but the important part is what by what scale factor, okay? So I'm gonna dilate it by a scale factor of and we're gonna go ahead and test and see what the scale factor here should be, okay? So again, if you look at my previous video on side angle side and side, 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 then you can go ahead and see that AB, this side matches with QR, okay? So remember, I'm trying to take QRT onto ABE. So I know that AB is similar to QR. And if I wanna figure out the scale factor, I'm gonna go ahead and divide AB by QR, okay? AB is eight, QR is 3.2. If you go ahead and you divide those two numbers, you should get 2.5, which means that if I dilate this triangle QRT by a scale factor of 2.5, once I translate it left and down, then I'm gonna go ahead and map triangle A QRT onto ABE. So now I can say that triangle ABE is similar to triangle QRT. OK, so these are some um, sequences of transformations that will go ahead and map your two triangles onto each other. And now if we want to determine whether two polygons, two shapes are similar to each other, we have to go ahead and figure out what the corresponding parts are. OK, so for example, here, angle A matches with angle D. So your corresponding angles are A is congruent to D. Angle B, which has two marks, matches with angle E, which also has two marks. Okay. And finally, angle C matches with angle F. So angle C is congruent to angle F. Okay. Now that we have the three angles, now we can go ahead and match the sides as well. Okay. So A, B, notice is comprised of the green and the pink angle. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and use the green and the pink angle. So my corresponding sides, AB, is similar to DE, okay? And remember, in order to figure out the scale factor, we're going to go ahead and divide AB by DE. AB is 6, DE is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So far, we're getting somewhere, okay? BC is similar to EF. BC is similar to EF. Again, divide BC by EF. BC is nine, EF is 4.5. Again, divide those two, you should get two. And finally, AC is similar to DF. And if I divide AC by DF, AC is 10. DF is five and 10 divided by five is two. So I can indeed say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. 
If I dilate triangle DEF by a scale factor of two, I will get triangle ABC, okay? The same thing happens when you have polygons with multiple sides. The only important thing here is to make sure you match the correct angles and sides with each other to determine whether those polygons are sim similar, okay? So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Here is our similarity statement, okay? So again, if you guys have any questions, as always, y'all can leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and take a look at and answer your questions. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like my video and continue watching more of them so I can go ahead and help out more students and get more exposure on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.